ahead, you can get into the Mardi Gras spirit a little early. The Fort Smith Museum of History is having a Party Gras fundraiser this weekend. We've got Lisa Gramlich, the executive director of the museum, with us this morning. Lisa, thank you so much for waking up early to be here. We appreciate you taking the time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Before we start talking about this really cool event happening this weekend, let's talk a little bit about the museum. For people who maybe have never been, what are they going to be able to see and do at the museum? The museum has been in continuous operation since 1910, mm -hmm. so that's 109 years now. Wow. Uh, the mission of the museum is to collect, preserve, and share the history and culture of Fort Smith and the region, which we've been doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. We care for approximately 40,000 artifacts that have been collected since 1910. As well, the museum is housed in the Atkinson Williams Warehouse, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. So we're also caring for the historic structure, mm -hmm. which is an ongoing challenge as a nonprofit. I was going to say, it's mm. a really neat building, but it is a challenge probably. It is a challenge. It, I had to keep it, keep it going uh -huh. and uh, preserve it, take care of it and preserve it in its original 1906 form as much as possible. So that's why we have uh, Party Gras, our yeah. largest annual fundraiser to help uh, with ongoing op museum operation cost. Let's talk a little bit about Party Gras. What are people going to uh, do and see at this event? This is just a fun midwinter party yeah. uh, based on Mardi Gras, the traditional Mardi Gras mm -hmm. that's held in New Orleans. Well, we changed it a few years ago. We marked out the M and put a P. Let's make it a Party Gras. <laughs> and it's a party. It's a big party. The event starts Saturday, February 23rd at 6 p.m. There's cocktails and the music of Memphis Soul from Dallas. Mm -hmm. uh, followed by an excellent Cajun dinner, auctions, we have all kinds of exciting auction items, parties, trips, all kinds of fun things. And then uh, following the auction, dancing the rest of the evening to Memphis Stoll from Dallas, their uh, Dallas premier Motown and classic dance band. You can check them out online. I've been listening to some of their uh, performances. A really neat band. Very good band. Uh, we're excited to have them. I know that the auction is pretty extensive. There are so many neat items. Real quick, what are some of you think the most unique or the, your favorite items part of the auction this year? There's a trip to Belize. Oh, that wow. sounds wonderful. Another a trip to uh, New York for Elton John uh, a concert. That mm -hmm. sounds great too. Yeah. There's a traditional Oktoberfest party that's always sold at Mardi Gras. Uh -huh. It will be at the home of one of our board members. It's a traditional Oktoberfest food and fun uh, held in October, of course. And then a very popular one that's been we've had for two or three years now is a craft beer and barbecue party. One of our board members, Drew Linder, is an excellent barbecue. He makes wonderful mm -hmm. food and yeah, he'll cook for you and provide uh, craft beer. And we like to use, you know, locally produced right. craft beer. So that's a very popular party. So much fun happening this weekend. We'll have more information about how you can get involved with the event on our website later this morning. We're also going to be giving away two tickets to the event. So go to our Facebook page right now, KNWA News, and apply for our contest. We will uh, be in touch with you later on in the day. You're watching KNWA Today. We'll be right back.